Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a split color glitch effect. So I've got my example clip laid out on the timeline, and in order to create the splitting of these color channels, the red, green, and blue, we actually kind of have to recreate each color channel in Premiere. So what we're going to do is duplicate the layer three times on the tracks above it. And an easy way to do this is just hold the Alt or Option key, and then click and drag on that video clip and just drag it up. It'll just copy and paste itself. If you can't get the shortcut to work, then just right click, copy it, highlight the track, and then paste it in the track. But now we've created three copies of this clip and we're gonna take each one of these and turn it into its own color channel. Really, we're just gonna to go to the effects panel and search for an effect called arithmetic. It should be under the video effects channel folder. So drag this effect onto your top video clip. Actually, drag it onto all three of those copies and we're gonna adjust each one of them one by one. So on the top video clip, you want to set the operator to max and then the red value to 255 or the, the max value it goes to. And that gives us our red color channel. Next, we're gonna to go to the second clip. We're going to turn the green value all the way up and then turn the operator to max. Now we have the green. You can't see it because this one's above it, but if I hide it, you can see we have the green. And then go to the third one or the first copy, set it to max as the blending operator, and then turn the blue value all the way up. So now you see we have red, green, and blue color channels all stacked on top of each other. So now that we've separated the three color channels on three different copies of the clip, we're actually going to add them back together again to get our original image. So on the top one, set the blending mode of that clip to linear dodge or add. And then on the second one, set the blending mode of the clip to linear dodge or add. Now you can see you don't have to do anything to the third one because they're all being combined and you have your original image. Additionally, you have your original solid clip on the bottom here if you need it in case. So why did we just break down these three color channels if we're gonna mix them all back together? Well, now that we have each piece on its own layer, when we move one or split one, they no longer are perfectly stacked on top of each other. So if I change the position of this top red color channel isolation that we did, and I move the position to be a little bit to the right or offset, you can see things start to split because now the color channels aren't blending on in the exact same positions. We're splitting them and creating this interesting effect. If I go to the second one and move things to the left a little bit, now we can see all the color channels split apart. Any effect that creates any type of displacement between the clips so that they're not perfectly aligned anymore, like any one of these distortion effects, will create this red, green, blue color channel splitting in different ways. If you ever click this reset arrow button, it'll reset things to normal, so you can go back to normal. And the easiest way that I like to do it is uncheck uniform scale. And if you make the scale larger rather than shorter, you won't get that weird clipping on the sides, but you'll still get that color displacement. You could do it on just one of the color channels or both of the color channels to split all of them, all three of them. And if you use keyframes, you can create glitch effects. So if I press this stopwatch icon to toggle animation and enable keyframes, I can start a keyframe at the default position and then move over a couple frames, make this keyframe go up and then move over a couple frames and then reset it again. And what I'll get is this little keyframed glitch effect. You can see how I did that. So this is the basics of splitting the color channels so that you have each clip on its own isolated layer. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, I'm on all of those at Justin Odisho. The links are in the description. And if you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials, then check out the playlist on my channel and make sure to subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.